This is the story of Zazel Preston, a 26-year-old aspiring domestic violence counselor who wanted to help other women escape abuse but was sadly killed by her deranged husband, William Wallace. Story gets weird when her husband who she really loved killed her on Christmas Eve and then propped her dead body for her kids to see so they can spend some time with their mother on Christmas Day while also opening their Christmas presents in front of their dead mother without knowing she was actually dead. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. This story will be taking us to the city of Anaheim, California. Anaheim is a city outside Los Angeles, in Southern California. The California city of Anaheim is best recognized for being the home of Disneyland. It is located near the Pacific coast of Southern California, about 30 miles south of downtown Los Angeles. Zazel Preston was born on June 17, 1985, in Los Angeles, California. She was the youngest of four children and grew up in a loving and supportive family. She was a bright and cheerful girl who loved to sing, dance, and play sports. She excelled in school and had many friends. She had a passion for learning and helping others, especially those who were struggling with domestic violence. She graduated from high school in 2003 and enrolled in Cypress College, where she majored in psychology. She wanted to become a domestic violence counselor and make a difference in the world. She was also a devoted mother to her two daughters from a previous relationship, Ziana and Valais. Zazel met William Wallace in 2008 when she was 23 years old and he was 36. William was a dock worker who lived in Anaheim, California. He was charming and charismatic, and Zazel fell in love with him. They moved in together and had a son, Marcel, in 2011, who was only seven weeks old when Zazel was killed. However, Wallace was not the man he seemed to be. He had a history of violence and criminality, including arrests for assault, robbery, and drug possession. He was also abusive towards Preston, both physically and emotionally. He would hit her, choke her, threaten her, and isolate her from her family and friends. He had spent time in jail for beating her before and had violated restraining orders that Preston had obtained against him. Zazel's family and friends tried to intervene and help her leave William, but she was too afraid and ashamed to do so. She hoped that he would eventually stop hurting her, and she wanted to keep their family together. She also feared for her safety and the safety of her children if she left him. On December 24, 2011, Zazel and William attended a neighbor's Christmas Eve party. According to witnesses, they had an argument at the party and left around 11 p.m. What happened next is still unclear, but prosecutors allege that William used blunt force trauma to the head to render Zazel unconscious sometime between that night and the next morning. The next morning, on Christmas Day, William did something unthinkable. He propped up Zazel's lifeless body on the couch, put sunglasses on her face, and told their kids that she was drunk and needed to sleep. He made them open their presents in front of her lifeless body, telling them that, mommy ruined Christmas, she got drunk and ruined Christmas. William acted like nothing was wrong, but the kids knew something was wrong. They saw blood on the walls and on Zazel's body. They felt that she was cold and stiff. They tried to wake her up, but she didn't respond. They were terrified and confused by their father's behavior. They didn't understand what had happened or why he was doing this. William then took Zazel's body to his mother's house, where he left it in the garage. He told his mother that Zazel had died from an accidental fall in the bathroom. He called 911 around 9.30 a.m., claiming that his wife needed medical attention. When the police arrived, they found her unresponsive on the couch, with blood on the walls and furniture. She was taken to a hospital, where she was pronounced dead. The police arrested William and launched an investigation into Zazel's death. They found evidence of a violent struggle in the apartment, including broken glass, blood stains, holes in the walls, and furniture that had been moved or overturned. They also interviewed witnesses who had seen or heard William abusing Zazel before. They also examined her body and found multiple injuries consistent with blunt force trauma to the head. They determined that she had died from cranial cerebral injuries due to blunt force trauma by assault. After killing his wife, a man propped her dead body on the sofa to make the kids think she was still alive. This is all according to prosecutors in Southern California. They say William Wallace had his children open up their Christmas presents in front of her dead body. 
Prosecutors say Wallace killed 26-year-old Zell Preston during a fight on Christmas Eve of 2011. Wallace's attorney says Preston died from a drunken fall into a glass table. The trial started this week with opening statements made on Monday. The motive for the murder is not clear, but prosecutors suggested that it was related to his anger and jealousy over her success and independence. Zazel was weeks away from graduating from college and becoming a counselor. She had also expressed her desire to leave William and start a new life with her children. William may have felt threatened by Preston's achievements and plans and decided to kill her out of spite or resentment. He may have also been under the influence of alcohol or drugs at the time of the crime. William was charged with first-degree murder and faced up to 25 years to life in prison if convicted. His trial began in March 2021 almost 10 years after the crime. His defense attorney argued that Zazel died from injuries after she drunkenly tripped and fell into a glass table, shattering it. He said that William was trying to protect his wife's dignity by putting her on the couch and covering her wounds. The defense claimed that William was a good father who loved his wife and kids. They also blamed Zazel for provoking William and for being an alcoholic. They also showed photos of Zazel's injuries, which were inconsistent with a fall. The jury deliberated for less than five hours before finding William guilty of second-degree murder on April 7, 2021. He was sentenced to 15 years to life in prison on June 4, 2021. William did not show any remorse for his actions. He maintained his innocence and appealed his conviction, claiming that he did not kill Zazel or prop up her body. He also did not speak during his sentencing or apologize to Zazel's family. He showed disrespect and defiance to the court and the jury, and he even smirked when he heard the verdict. Zazel's family was relieved and satisfied by his conviction and sentencing. They said that justice had been served for Zazel and that Wallace deserved to be punished for his crime. They also said that they were outraged and disgusted by his appeal, which they saw as a slap in the face and a waste of time. They said that they hoped that his appeal would be denied and that he would rot in prison. Zazel's mother, Seidel Preston, described William as a psychopath who beat and tortured her daughter and mentally assassinated her children. She became the guardian of her three children, a son she had with William and two daughters from a previous relationship. She said she was determined to raise them with love and support and to honor Preston's memory and legacy. Her daughter, who was 18 at the time of the sentencing, testified how she discovered that her mother's body was cold on Christmas morning. She said she missed her mother every day and wished she could hug her again. Her grandmother, Sally Baker, said she was proud of her granddaughter for pursuing her education and career goals. She said she hoped her death would inspire others to speak up against domestic violence. Our deepest condolence to the family of Zazel Preston may her soul continue to rest in peace. Thanks for watching. Please stay safe out there and I will see you in the next video.